guys. How are you? So we wanted to talk about movement and touch, and we have our buddy here, our buddy Sunshine. So Sunshine is, uh, what, Burmese python? Yeah. And so, um, and right now, about to start to shed. That's why his eyes are a little bit cloudy. And breathing. <laughs> I don't know if you hear the breathe. So what I was talking about before, and I really wanted to show you the snake, a lot of people just don't realize the significance of touch and touch is what I've really just been studying for years. So when you come over someone and you come above them, see if I come here with her, this is SMA type 2, also post-operative hip surgery bilateral six weeks, right? So to me to bring up her leg, it's very difficult with this touch. But if I come underneath here, she has complete range of motion and everything that I need. So I would never, a movement lesson, and this is what I teach in the trainings, I don't teach touch from above unless, again, you're working with in such a way. But I also wanted to show you that with sunshine. If I come here and try to pick up sunshine, to, to pick up like this, see, a tree branch doesn't work like this. So she's, he's not even responding to my touch, right? He's probably not even happy with my touch. And again, but if I come underneath here, Right? And do the same thing. Now I have a snake. Do you know what I mean? And this, he just thinks it's just a tree moving. Now, I don't know if I can handle this really bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm pushing my limits here. I've gotten so much better with this snake, but if all of a sudden it goes around me, I'm doing okay. <laughs> it's pretty bad when a little girl is braver than I am. But again, see the difference? Now, everybody can come here and pick up our... He doesn't live here, by the way, guys. Um, but again, with this, he's not going to respond. So with this, you're not getting the biology of the snake or the touch. With this, again, I'm right here, and he can come out and start playing and, and just start responding to my touch. And well, how is he going to respond? With movement, right? <laughs> and so the same thing with her. So come here. My touch, I'm not hurting. I'm not giving a, a forceful touch, but she's not responding, right? That's just pure biology. And you can stay over by Fleepy. But if I come here, the same thing. See, her biology changes. It's no different than what's going on with the snake than it is with Claire. <laughs> Look at how happy she is. Oh, I think I would just die. Her mother's sitting here and probably just, just lost her cookies. <laughs> so again, touch and movement. Even Sunshine right now, just going over Claire, is working with her biology, and it's brilliant. I wish I wasn't potted up right now because you could just hear her giggles. And she is just so happy. That response is there, going around her body in movement. The same thing when you're working here. So when you're someone and you're tell, being told to for range of motion and all of that, really what you learn Again, here, movement lesson. You're just not going to get the same response. I can get her to move, right? But it's the same thing with this guy. If I can come around here, <laughs> I'm not going to be that face, and just come here, see, he just goes off of me. And this is also what I teach here is the absolute horizon, right? That movement is there, and I can move around it and using rotation, and he'll start, there he goes, and then he'll just go move around. That's your absolute horizon. It's not going right in my hands per se, but he's just using my movements and doing all of this. I'm not restricting what he needs to do. And I should be getting some kind of medal award or coffee for a month for being able to do this. But I've come a long way because I used to scream. Um, and it really is quite fascinating how touch works with movement. Right? And, and with movement lesson, you really need to appreciate that touch or just have faith in it. And you can go here, and that's how you start working with the people that you're working on. So this is, again, this is her first week post-hip surgery. Six weeks it was a surgery ago. She wasn't casted, and she did have bilaterals. And that's what we're working with. If you have any questions at all, feel free. Love the comments. Love you in the training. But touch and movement is your golden egg or your golden python <laughs> and and that's what you need to do and i'm going to do the same with felipe he's here playing give me your arm 
So if I'm here again, hand over hand, this is where Newton's law comes in. He's just going to go against me. Now again, I'm not giving him a hard touch or a pain touch, but if I come underneath here, he's mine. It's just like dancing, right? And don't get jealous because I'm playing with your owner. <laughs> I hope that gives you just another aspect of not necessarily seeing a child with special needs or an adult. He's an athlete and so forth, but just to understand touch and movement because it's just natural law. And it's in animals and it's in us. And you really, if you learn to work with it, you'll get so much more helping someone with movement. Thanks, guys.